Just days ago, the James Webb Space Telescope captured something completely unexpected. At first, it looked like just another faint smudge of light buried deep in the darkness of space. Nothing dramatic, nothing alarming. But as scientists began analyzing the data, they realized this was not an ordinary observation. This object was an early galaxy, one that existed nearly 13 billion years ago, when the universe was still in its infancy. According to everything we understand about cosmic evolution, galaxies at this stage should be small, chaotic, and poorly developed. This one wasn't. It was massive, structured, and far more mature than it had any right to be. As researchers dug deeper, a troubling realization began to emerge. This galaxy was not just an exception. It was part of a growing pattern, one that James Webb has been quietly revealing since it first opened its golden eye to the universe. And that pattern suggests something unsettling. The universe may not work the way we thought it did. Ever since the James Webb Space Telescope began its mission, it has repeatedly shown astronomers galaxies that appear far too old, far too large, and far too evolved for the time period they come from. At first, scientists thought these discoveries might be flukes. Maybe the data was incomplete. Maybe the models needed small adjustments, but Webb kept finding more. And then something even more disturbing happened. These discoveries weren't just challenging how galaxies form, they were starting to threaten the foundation of modern cosmology itself. For more than a century, scientists have built their understanding of the universe on a simple but powerful assumption that on large scales, the universe is uniform. No matter which direction you look, the universe should behave the same way. This idea is known as the cosmological principle. It assumes that matter is evenly distributed, that the universe has no preferred direction, and that its expansion happens equally everywhere. This principle is woven into almost every major cosmological theory we have, from the Big Bang to dark energy, from the age of the universe to its ultimate fate. Without it, the universe becomes impossible to model. And for decades, observations supported this idea. The cosmic microwave background, the faint afterglow of the Big Bang appeared remarkably uniform. Large-scale galaxy surveys showed no obvious directional bias. Everything seemed consistent, until recently. In 1929, Edwin Hubble made a discovery that changed science forever. By observing distant galaxies, he found that the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away from us. This revealed that the universe is expanding. That discovery led to a profound idea. If the universe is expanding today, then in the past it must have been smaller. Rewind the cosmic clock far enough, and you reach the beginning, the Big Bang. But to rewind that clock accurately, scientists need one critical number, the expansion rate of the universe, known as the Hubble constant. This value tells us how fast space itself is stretching. For decades, astronomers have tried to measure it with increasing precision. And strangely, the more precise our measurements became, the more confusing the results were. Two methods emerged as the gold standard. The first looks deep into the early universe by studying tiny temperature fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background. Using data from the Planck satellite, this method suggests the universe is expanding at about 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec. The second method measures nearby galaxies using Cepheid variable stars and supernovae as cosmic distance markers. This method consistently gives a higher value around 74 kilometers per second per megaparsec. At first, scientists assumed something must be wrong. Measurement errors, instrument limitations, calibration issues. But years passed. The gap refused to close. This discrepancy became known as the Hubble tension. Then James Webb entered the picture. With its unprecedented resolution and sensitivity, Webb was able to re-examine the same stars and galaxies used in earlier measurements without the distortions that plagued previous telescopes, and the results were clear. The higher expansion rate was real. There was no mistake. The universe was expanding at different speeds depending on where and how you measured it. This was not a small problem. It was catastrophic. Because if the expansion rate of the universe is not the same everywhere, then the assumption of uniformity collapses. The cosmological principle, the backbone of modern cosmology, begins to crack. Nobel Prize-winning physicist David Gross described the situation bluntly. 
He said this wasn't just a tension or a disagreement, it was a crisis. James Webb's observations didn't just confirm previous measurements, they reinforced the idea that something fundamental about the universe is being misunderstood. One possible explanation is deeply unsettling. Dark energy, the mysterious force believed to be driving the accelerated expansion of the universe, may not be uniform. Instead of acting evenly throughout space, it could vary from region to region. In some places, it might push space apart more aggressively. In others, it could be weaker. If that's true, then the universe is not the smooth, predictable system we imagined. It's uneven, lopsided, possibly unstable. And that raises terrifying questions. If expansion rates differ across the universe, then our estimate of the universe's age could be wrong. The commonly accepted age of 13.8 billion years might not apply everywhere. Some regions of the universe could be effectively older or younger than others. Even worse, if the universe isn't homogeneous on large scales, then the physical laws we take for granted might not be universal either. Beyond our observable horizon, gravity could behave differently, fundamental constants could vary, space and time themselves might not follow the same rules. This isn't science fiction. This is the logical consequence of a universe that breaks its own assumptions. And James Webb keeps pushing us closer to that uncomfortable reality. Each new image, each new data set, seems to add weight to the idea that the early universe evolved far faster and more efficiently than our models predict. Galaxies formed too quickly. Structures emerged too early. Order appeared where chaos was expected. It's as if the universe skipped steps, or worse, followed rules we haven't discovered yet. Scientists are now racing to revise cosmological models. Some propose exotic forms of dark energy. Others suggest modifications to gravity itself. A few even question whether the Big Bang model, as we currently understand it, is incomplete. What makes this moment so unsettling is not just what James Webb has found, it's what it hasn't ruled out. The telescope is still in its early years. It hasn't even begun its most ambitious surveys. And already, it has exposed cracks in theories that took generations to build. For decades, cosmology was a story of increasing confidence. Each discovery refined the picture. Each observation filled in missing details. James Webb has reversed that trend. Now the deeper we look, the less certain we become. And that faint galaxy Webb captured just days ago, it may one day be remembered as another warning sign, a reminder that the universe does not owe us simplicity and that our most trusted assumptions may be temporary illusions. The crisis in cosmology is no longer theoretical. It's unfolding in real time, and James Webb is watching it happen.